This is going to be a video tutorial on how to crop an image into a circle using Adobe Photoshop. I will be using Photoshop 2023 for this. Let me uh, jump over to Photoshop here. Okay, I have Photoshop open now and I have an image in a folder here that I'm just going to drag over and drop into Photoshop. That is an image of my cat and what a handsome fellow he is. Uh, say that I wanted to crop out a circle around his face here. The way to do that, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go off to the uh, layers panel on the right hand side here and I'm going to double click on this background layer. I'm going to double click on it and in the dialog box that pops up I'm just going to click on OK. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back over to the layers panel here and I'm going to right click on this layer. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go up to the top here and I'm going to choose duplicate layer. Duplicate layer. In the dialog box that opens up here, I'm going to click on OK. So now in the layers panel, I have my original layer here and I have a copy of my original layer. Um, the original layer, I'm going to click on the little eyeball down here because I'm going to hide that layer. I'm going to click on the little eyeball. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go off to the tools panel on the left hand side here over in the tools panel and I am going to select the ellipse tool. The ellipse tool is under the rectangle tool. If you place your mouse cursor in the lower right hand corner of the rectangle tool area, hold down your left mouse button it will reveal the tools underneath it. I'm going to choose the ellipse tool. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to the very top and I want to make sure that this says path up here. Path. If it doesn't, there's a little drop down here and make just make sure path has been selected. Then I'm going to go over to my image here and I'm going to drag out a circle. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and start dragging out a circle after I've started dragging out my circle, I'm going to hold down the shift key to make a perfect circle. And I'm just going to make it about like this. It can always be adjusted later. I'm going to let go of my left mouse button. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to the tools panel again here. And I'm going to click on the path selection tool. The path selection tool. That way I can go back over to my image and I can adjust my, uh, my circle here. You can even, you could uh, move your circle around. You could also pull out on the corners. You want to hold down shift after you've started pulling out on the corners to give yourself a perfect circle. I'm going to have mine about like that there. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to the uh, layers tab up at the top. I'm going to click on layer. Then I'm going to go down to where it says Vector Mask. Vector Mask. Then I'm going to go straight off to the side and I'm going to click on Current Path. Current Path. And then from here, you could, uh, as long as you're still on the uh, Path Selection tool, you can still move your uh, circle around. You could resize it. I'm going to have mine about like that there. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to the Image tab at the top. Image. I'm going to click on Image. And then I'm going to go down to where it says Trim. I'm going to click on Trim. In this dialog box, I'm just going to leave it the way it is here. And I'm going to click on OK. I got rid of all that excess outside of uh, outside of my image. Now if you want to save this as a transparent background PNG, the way to do that, you want to go over to the File tab. You want to click on File. Then you want to go down to where it says Export. And you'll go straight over and you could click on Export as PNG. 
It'll ask you where you want to uh, save the image. I'm going to save it in this folder here. You can uh, rename it if you want. Being I already have an image with that name, I'm going to rename mine. I'm just going to put a 1 there. Then I'm going to go over and I'm going to click on Save. Now if I go to that folder, there is my image I just created. That is how to crop a circle out of an image in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.